Hello, welcome back to another round of Forgotten Hope 2 with Slayer. Hello. I'm gonna take the crappy Breda LMG. What? Why not? Yeah, I'm gonna take the crappy Teller mines because we don't have Italian AT mines. Get. Unless they never had AT mines, I mean, who knows? That would be extremely stupid. I mean, if you think about it, mines were actually kind of a new thing during World War II. Because even during the height of trench warfare in World War One, they never really used minefields. As far as I'm aware. I mean, back in World War One, when they said mine, it basically meant uh, digging under the enemy and blowing them up. Yeah, yeah. with... Extremely big versions of the Gabaltalado. Yeah. Which is also what they did during sieges in the Middle Ages, or rather in the early modern ages. Ah, well, somebody already drove over one of my mines. Could he? Was it an enemy? Yes. Even better. <laughs> but yeah, I, I recently read a book about. It was actually mostly about naval warfare between um, the Christians and the Ottomans in, uh, in, the, um, in the Mediterranean Sea. And it, there was something about the siege of um, Malta. Oh, yeah. And it was actually quite uh, interesting because it was this weird mix of medieval stuff like you had of course uh, the uh, you know the Knights of Battalion uh, and yeah. uh, they still had the the you know the white cross on their un not uniform on their armor and so on and yeah. then you you had flamethrowers you had um, like sappers who um, you know dug under the enemy or well, they dug trenches towards the enemy walls and stuff like that mm -hmm. the the Ottomans had like um, snipers that would basically do suppressive fire where as soon as you put your head above the battlements you know they would shoot you in the head. With, yeah. some r with these really long muskets that they had on a tripod or something. Jesus. And it was a really weird mix of modern and... Um, or oh, well, modern, of World War One and Middle Ages. And I, and I thought, you know, if I wanted to write like a fantasy book, because you know how there's 10,000 different fantasy books and they're all kind of the same, you know, the cheap ones, I mean. You should make one in that era. You know, mix it up with magic and stuff, and it would be really unique. Oh. oh. Okay. Yeah, I actually know uh, quite something about Malta, because I've been there. Uh, so I uh, went to several museums and uh, learned a lot about uh, Maltese history. Okay, I thought for a second we lost a uh, position, but that was no. just a warning. Mm -hmm. The Vickers is uh, camping the, the the Wadi, so if you want to put mines down there... I don't have mines. Shooting you. Oh, okay. Uh, they are flanking up in the extreme south with um, mechanized in. Oh, the Walker Hardy with the team kill again. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. Still have flashbacks. Ah, oh, there are two Vickers on this map. Didn't know. Wouldn't be surprised if IRL they actually didn't have any... Ah, I thought I killed him because of the message. Uh, if they, IRL didn't actually have uh, any... Full squad. Uh, just south of the flag. Yeah, I know. I shot at them and I didn't get a single hit. It's amazing, this LMG. With a brand gun, they would be all dead as well. So... Now I get a hit, oh. I need to die. Yeah, there's a squad oh. leader there. Yeah. Shit, they got Let me. Let me guess it's gonna spawn me somewhere here. 
I'm gonna spawn as AT because then I can yeah, get, get both the Vickers if it comes close and maybe that squad that's getting. Yeah, they have the south now. Uncomfortably close. Gonna try. Oh, only one kill. Yeah, yeah there's, a Bren, there's a Bren gunner at the static MG position. I did get one of them as they crossed the road. This point for another. Ah, uh, now that I'm reloading, they're running across. And the Bren carrier also, yeah, they are coming into the flag zone from the south. I'm gonna try to maybe get another angle closer to that SL. Yeah, yeah, it seems that when the Hawk uh, is in the rotation super often lately. Do I change it? I didn't I play it, so I don't really mind, but. I know where the squad leader is. I don't know. Four evenings in a row. Yeah, if you play for Gunno 2 four evenings in a row, the chances are that you get to play the, uh, the same map uh, sometime. That's, uh, that's not surprising. Uh, to be honest though, uh, if it's really that bad, because I did see that it came up a lot and the drums won every time, so maybe we should in this case. Switch it to Operation Hyacinth, you know. Yeah, but that the Germans win every time, that's not a surprise. I mean, the Germans yeah. win Rimmel every time. The Germans? Americans. Uh, Americans, yeah, sorry. I know it's easy to confuse them because they both have uh, eagles as their symbols, but it's a bit different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's funny. There was uh, there was this kid in school, and uh, she was wearing a T-shirt of uh, the screaming eagles. So I told her the the anecdote about uh, the rivalry between the 82nd and uh, 101st. And that 82nd guys were always, when they met up with the 101st guys, they were always doing stuff like, Ah! Screaming Eagles! Ah! To annoy them. And she actually knew about yeah. the anecdote, so that was pretty cool. Oh, interesting. Normally not a girl topic. Yeah, I've heard of course the um, 82nd has the AA All-American symbol, and that also stands for the uh, what? Alcoholics Anonymous. Sorry, I was so distracted I know, a bit. So I know what I would do as the um, as a joke as the 101st, you know, go for that whole AA joke. Okay, next try. No, somebody... don't go there! <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, no problem. I was about to say, I heard somebody pull out a nade, so let's get out of here. <laughs> that was me! <laughs> <laughs> no, I was kind of afraid somebody would uh, throw the, the impact nade at, at, yeah, the, at the wall by mistake, which is something that happens quite, quite often <laughs> in these chaotic situations here. But yeah. Oh, of course, somebody pops up there. But we are capping uh, south now, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Although the cap stopped now. Yeah, and because that's I died. Thing. Yeah, but our squad leader is still here. For a second. That's how you throw nades. 
This first stage perhaps too hard for Brits? Jesus. No, no. the last one is hard on. Yeah, this one is pretty okay. Damn it. Uh, Where's that uh, tank? Second one is more difficult, I would say. I'm gonna go back to the crappy LMG. Ah, oh, somebody has it. Okay, then let's stay with the Beretta, which is not and ex which is not actually crappy. Nah, I'm <laughs> yeah, you should make a video which is called "Not Actually Crappy Weapons in Fugano 2." <laughs> well, you joke, but you know how many videos people make, like big channels make, about different games where it's like most underrated weapon in X. You know, so. I don't mm -hmm. think it would be completely out of the question. Most underrated weapon in FH2. The thing is, weapons can't really be that underrated in FH2 because it's not like you can choose which weapons you have, you know? Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Yeah, you can. You can take a different squad. Uh, Wait, what? Roll. Fuck. I mean. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Actually, I'm not the idiot. The enemy, the allies that run from the enemy apparently are the idiots because the enemy is obviously still in our spawn area. Our uh, squad leader is an American, and you can see him jogger around. Oh, miss. Yeah. Hey. W okay. Never mind. Yeah, he's in Agadat. Who is Los Patos? What? <laughs> he's a legend. That's just a squad name, um, Steiner is that dude, right? Steiner does do the Los Patos squads, right? Uh, no. No, Los Patos are the Argentinians. Uh, McPoyo and, um... Uh, well, those guys. Yeah, okay, never mind that. Okay, we are capping it back again. I thought he was dead for a second because of the way he moved. <laughs> okay, that was a confused fucking battle. I did not know who was who, and I just shot everybody, but didn't get a team kill this time. Oh. Oh, we captured the uh, brand with the uh, the brand carrier with the big gun on it, or with the wicker on it. I mean. Okay, There's I blew up a tank, but enemy it cost me my life. And this guy, of course, has to use the Thompson now. Damn it. What? It just says I'm no more. So what did kill the tank? I blew up my mini nuke against it. Probably you got blown up so hard that the server was confused. Like, holy shit, that guy is so dead. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's just no more. He wasn't even killed. He was deleted. Yeah, but, but I blew up a tank also, a, an enemy tank. So I wonder why it didn't register that I did blow up a tank there. Okay, that doesn't work. Fuck. Come on, squad leader. What's the squad leader doing? Mom and, He's moving uh, away. Mom and Harrington have found our land. Oh, maybe uh, he's going plan. there. Yeah. But we're losing the flag in the meantime. That's not so smart. I hate all these vehicles on this map that just drive around randomly. I think that you hate obvious vehicles that drive around randomly in general. Yeah. Especially if it's not tank. Yogi shooter. I've killed him a bunch of times now. Because you should not shoot Yogi. Oops, sorry. Because Yogi is just a nice bear. You is, that not the, 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 is that the one that's like, don't start forest fires? Yeah, that one. Uh, if I recall correctly, because it has been a while. <laughs> Wish bolt actions would bolt without going out of aim. Yeah. Yeah, no, you wouldn't. We tried that, not that good. 
Um, it actually, because uh, then after that uh, you you are basically stuck in iron sight mode and you can't move after bolting while aimed down basically, or not as quickly, and it felt really weird. Now of course you can argue, yeah, maybe that would make gameplay a bit slower, people would like it. Yeah, maybe, but uh, we didn't like it when we tried it, so... so. Oh, oh this did? time you kept it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and you get to get guess one time which award I just got. Rifleman, oh no wait, I get Rifleman Bronze. Uh, you always get the objective, right? Yeah. And I shot the guy out of the... what's that thing called again? Yeah, for a second I thought we shot at the same dude, and for a second I thought I got the kill. Nope. <laughs> Damn it, that you, don't get to get, you don't get to kill everybody. No. I'm not an American policeman. <laughs> 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 well, if you're an American policeman, you also don't get to kill everybody. No, only the black one. Uh. Oh, now we lose the train station. Yeah, uh, I can't spawn there, so. Damn it. Where is the tank? But uh, we spawned. He doesn't uh, see yeah. me. And again, a fucking vehicle spawned in my face. The other dude saw me. Oh! oh. <laughs> the guy that uh, drove over my mine. Uh, and then uh, I killed him a bunch of times more uh, often. Whoa! He, uh, he decided to join our team. <laughs> that a team kill you call him? No. He hasn't team killed me anyway. No, oh, we lost the flag. For that. We lost Fuck. the flag. Yeah, I think that's... Um I think that's um, Spectre is there soon. Trying to get behind them. Ah, uh, there's too many vehicles here. Uh, we're capping it back. Yeah, I know, I'm in. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Exclamation point, sorry. You really need to be careful with us. Yeah, I know. So, uh, we don't Benting need to get camera. behind him, but... Yeah, you need to be careful with those. No, I got team killed, I think. Or did I team Yeah, 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 no. The okay. squad leader team killed you. I think he uh, is not so much appreciating your effort for the squad. Yeah, that was uh, the problem. Well, that's the problem when you get try to get behind them. Sometimes you get behind them and then you eat a nade. And that's how you use it. Death. And they still don't have it. <laughs> this is, apart from uh, one round where the British never captured the first sector, this is. Oh, they they got. Yeah, yeah. They got one it. of the longest times that um, I've uh, seen the Brits uh, take and uh, capture this. Uh, on hold my spawn for the squad leader to respawn, so I know where to join up again. Okay, over there. Okay. Fuoco di copertura. Fuoco di copertura. Apparently no pre capers so that's good. What the hell? I got shot by a Bren Gunner on the southern slopes. Well, the Bren is the best weapon ever. He's Except the for the Garand. So now my job becomes ten times more difficult. But now, because now I have to mine the road when the British are already joining in. This point. 
Oh yeah, from the nade side, yeah, probably. Oh. Oh, oh sweet there, he's posting racist stuff, nice. And he banned. You really want to ban for racism? Nah, uh, he's gone. <laughs> Well, it wasn't actually racist, but uh, it was actually wrong, because uh, he was uh, saying something about statistics that were borked. No. But okay, I'm I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure that his intention was uh, had something to do with racism after all. Yeah. Yeah, lots yeah, of lots people, of people are uh, posting these uh, statistics of... Uh, uh, white people getting killed more often by uh, the police than black people. No, I think he was uh, posting that white people get killed more by black people than the other way around. Although I'm not sure if you if that is uh, true, considering if you do like if you uh, calculate in the whole of the whole of history, you know, like colonialism and so on. Uh, yeah. yeah, and uh, the, the fun thing is that uh, in those statistics they leave out the part where it says the percentage of the population as a whole. Oh, okay, yeah. And that's funny, because then all of a sudden it changes up rapidly. Yeah, uh, mass is fun. But yeah. I think that most people who have certain opinions, they just choose to read certain sources that just affirm those opinions. And they choose to ignore the, uh, sources that are uh, proving the opposite. So, like a British soldier at Arnhem who got captured by the SS mentioned, no arguing with fanatics. Yeah. That's why I... Um that's why I uh, only read books that say that the pyramids were built by aliens, because I already know that it's true. <laughs> so. Oh, I thought they were b built by slaves. They uh -huh. were uh, only massive amounts of slaves, and they were uh, being uh, tortured while uh, and whipped while they were building the pyramids. Yeah. I actually had uh, I actually uh, got this video once by um, that got sent to me by a, a chemistry colleague. And uh, it showed that um, probably uh, there was m they made use of water during building the pyramids. Made some kind of uh, uh, like a hydraulic, basically. Yeah, but with water, so they could push up the, yeah. the the super heavy blocks uh, by just. Uh, uh, yeah, water pressure. Yeah, hydraulic. As I said, hydraulic, basically. Yeah, One but of hydraulics, the hydraulics is with air, right? No, hydro means water, hydraulics, or at least that's what I always assume. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not hydra, hydro means uh, uh, water or moist. Yeah, that's true. So that I thought hydraulics means that you use water pressure for something. Which is one of the most powerful um, forces uh, in the world, really. That's what uh, keeps our bonus stuff as well. But, um, yeah, okay. But the, the, the <laughs> whenever I saw uh, hydraulics, um, like, um, what's, what's the word? Uh, being put to use, it, was, uh, it had to do with air pressure. I'm not sure. Isn't it, for example, brake, uh, when you brake your car, there's fluid in there, and I think that's hydraulic. Yeah, <laughs> anyway. shot a guy out of the brain. Yeah. I'm talking about slaves. Uh, that book I read about battles in the Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. It went into the whole galley thing, you know, galleys, you know, oh, the, yeah, the yeah. whole ship with the ra radars. And, yeah. Um, that must have been one of the worst things um, imaginable, being a galley slave and having to move the ship. And they actually argued that a galley used 
human beings as fuel because of how many died and they actually had to calculate with uh, how many slaves they could put on there for you know for a campaign against how many would die and so on okay and um, this is actually something that today many racists also point out that um, which is true although obviously they're missing the point but that uh, back then uh, the Ottomans captured a lot of um, well basically I guess Christian or white uh, slaves you know from I think there were regular galley raids on the Italian coast to capture more slaves there and um, yeah. whole like whole coastal areas were depopulated. Yeah. Yeah, the the fun thing is that uh, yeah, the Ottomans did so, that's true. But in the same era there were the there were these uh, abductions going on by um, pirates in the Mediterranean and oh yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. yeah but Maybe. that was the from uh, Algeria those guys yeah, yeah well you okay those were uh, um, Ottoman puppets but yeah, yeah. basically um, both sides did it really but that's not really the point here because many races uh, you said to argue yeah well but um, then why are the blacks in America complaining you know and it's like yeah, <laughs> the yeah, yeah. Things have nothing to do with each other <laughs> who, gi who gives a shit <laughs> I mean that Maybe the Algerians have something to, like, um, to, to, uh, they have some monuments to tear, uh, tear down in their own country, then uh, it's not your business, you know. But okay, never mind. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day. See you.